Um, Stav on Flake. How? Your one. What the fuck is this? I don't know what this is, but apparently he was talking about the roast here. Where Where is the roast, Chatters? The roast you of might, like you might. Yeah, I think he talked about it. Well, I I I know. Uh, Wait, where yeah, did he where did he talk I, about I, it? I talk to fucking these dudes every now and then, you know what I mean? Wait, wait, Andrew hold on. Schultz. The most anti LGBT Stavros. Stavros is a socialist politically and with women. Stavros first time with a wife. The most anti LGBT countries are the most LGBT. Schultz and Stavros debate American exceptionalism. Stavros is crushing the comedy game. Our streaming he sites is, pushing dude. the best comedians away. What about it? like sir, the, the most homophobic culture is how they're kind of the gayest and they're sure absolutely the gayest there's like a bit about this somewhere because so. the idea of fucking a man is so outrageous Four that you could they oh 1650 okay we'll watch that uh and then we'll watch the <laughs> other i don't know let's see let's start i mean it seems like this is a pretty sick you know first of all everyone gets their own nba jam yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. for the, you know, not just communal. You yeah, know, exactly. You get to take one home. That sounds awesome. You know what okay. I mean? And then you get the, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> every, every, Mark this day. Yeah. <laughs> the day flagrant split yeah. up. <laughs> the fucking Yoko Ono. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, fuck. You guys think Akash is on vacation? I have him kidnapped and win. <laughs> <laughs> Boys with, I don't, actually, I don't know. If I don't like, I don't like when he laughs with other men like that. Why? Why? Because he laughs like you. That's that's you. You, that's supposed to be. That's this, your thing. Yeah, I feel I feel jealous. Like I get jealous when I see my big beautiful boy. Uh, oh my over god! There. One of the one of the one of the gay porn stars I was alluding to is watching right now. Oh, nice. Um, shouts he out said, to gay you. Gay porn star Hassan Abihead reporting for duty. Jesus Christ, dude. Yes, bitch, motherfucker. Speak on this shit. Older gays have the perspective the kids need. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> But uh, as I was as I was saying, uh, you know, I don't like it. I don't like it when when Stavros is laughing like that with other men. I'm yeah. jealous and I'm possessive. There, I said it. I don't give a fuck. This was my demands. <laughs> <laughs> I love Stavros. Your your boys with I don't actually I don't know if your boys, but I saw you roasting Hassan. That's my guy. Yeah. So yeah, Hassan, Hassan, I always hit up when something <laughs> happens in the news. Yeah. That looks like so blatantly. How do I phrase it? It looks like it looks too easy to make the argument mm -hmm. for the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit up Hassan. I'm like, what? What am I not yeah, seeing? Yeah, yeah. Because he'll usually. I do this unironically. I'm like, God, the the left seems really wrong here. I'm gonna ask Hassan. <laughs> That's literally what I do. It's true. I do the same thing, but I keep going. <laughs> we have it. And totally. if he doesn't have anything, I'm like, okay, then we then can. we're good. He's like yeah, my yeah. fact checker. He's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but he's, awesome. he's fucking talented. He's the best. Because yeah. I was watching, I was, you know, sometimes I'll watch like some of the streams. God damn, like not as talented. And as it's well a now, different like... muscle to just talk. Totally. For fucking totally. Four hours. Yeah. Whatever the hell. I saw him eating like dinner once. On yeah. And dude. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be a break here. It's like, crazy. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I hop on the like those. Twitch streamers are just on there for like 10 hours a day. And it's like this constant thing. And I mean, he does, he'll just fucking watch it, you know, like, you know, he'll go through uh, like a YouTube thing or it is, it's literally educational sometimes. But I went on a stream last time and it's like, that's, uh, I found out of him because he started out kind of bashing a clip that we made, oh, not yeah. knowing that we were agreeing with him. Oh, hilarious. So, so it was, yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah, funny yeah. clip because he starts out, oh, here's the Schultz smoke. Yeah. You guys have yeah. been waiting for yeah, this. Yeah. This guy ain't shit. Mark's a smart whatever. Yeah. And then we just start agreeing with everything. And he's like, why don't you guys fucking tell me yeah. what the fuck is going on? They're making good points here. Yeah. This is actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, that's I like a him. classic. It's such a common thing that happens with chat because like chat gears me up for like, uh, a particular position and then i'm like okay i've seen like some stuff i know that like he has like somewhat of a centrist take from time to time even though i do know marcus in there with the longer hair is like he's a hasan head too so uh i know that like his perspective is definitely closer to the left but even then it's like you fucking gear me up so goddamn much that i'm like oh i'm going in and then i have to fucking fight my chat i no, think he's, he's he i rules. think he's like yeah yeah he's the only problem he is turkish which is an issue but <laughs> yeah. other than that he's a great guy. <laughs> who likes the turks uh not the armenians i'll tell you that much <laughs> i thought they worked that whole thing oh, out like they agreed hell, it didn't sir. happen and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't they, that the agreement? What we'll happened? put it under the rug, yeah. yeah. It is so funny. You don't have to say like, rug. Yeah. <laughs> Racist. It is funny because it's like, it is funny because Greek people still are like, it's just like this rivalry from the 1800s. Yeah. It's just like they still don't fuck with Turks. But yeah, it's sports. We're bringing it together. Yeah, it really is. Like yeah. historically, are you aware why you don't fuck with the Turks? Yeah, I mean, the Ottoman Empire took over Greece and fucking, you know, 
I think it was the 1400s, and then yep. Greece 1453. got independence in 1821. But, but didn't the Ottoman 1453, Empire 1453, baby, best year of my life. do their thing? Uh, a little bit, depending on like like Greece stayed Christian, like they kept their own, you know, whatever. Uh, they we, you know, Albanians went fucking Muslim or whatever, and like yeah. certain certain other places Sand, did. They folded. Bro. Yeah, they folded. Damn, bro, he is parsing through. He's parsing. He is parsing through such treacherous waters with the delicacy of a ballerina. Jeez. Like what he's talking about right now is like centuries of ethnic strife. Okay. Things that even on this day and age, the moment that you bring up Balkan posting, as we call it, the moment that you bring up anything from the Balkans, all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose. And here he is absolutely dropping fucking dimes. Not even a worry. Did I lock the gate? Constantinople, 1453. First of all, that's not how it happened. They did lock the gate. And we fucking... <laughs> why am I saying we like I did it? Even though... In my family, there is lore that like one of my great, 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 great grandparents was like uh, one of the admirals that actually came up with the idea. But uh, they put fucking uh, they they oiled these like railways and basically ran the fucking ships in order to get into the other side of the canal because the canal had a fucking actual chain. So they famously um, they they famously fucking oiled up a bunch of planks, cut down trees, oiled up a bunch of planks put the planks down and moved the ships through land and dumped it into the fucking sea and then tackled uh, uh, from from all, uh, from like basically every other side. Um, so that was real. Bu kadar kişi izliyorken söyle durum çok karışık bunlar. Krallık, Bizans tarafında savaşan Türk prensi, Osmanlı savaşında Bizans var. Okay. What anyway, the fuck did you just say? He was just saying, like, you know, things are complicated. Yeah, 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 yeah. They folded. They look back at you and they're like, fuck, we could have kept our names. Yeah, I think, well, I think part of it was they didn't want to pay taxes or something. I think, I yeah. think it was they're like, just, literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the Ottoman Empire allowed you to not, you had to you, pay the tax. If, if you yeah. went Muslim, it was like, yeah. all right, well, you're one of us, whatever. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they, they, I, one thing I've, I, Hassan actually told me is that, which is fucking hysterical, is that Turks still to this day, the, you can get out of military service, but you oh, have to prove this. you're gay. <laughs> and like, and like, and by the way, they don't count the guy who fucks as gay. They don't the top. Top. gay. Yeah. Yeah. They're like yeah. real old world with it. Yeah. And you, like, what? I was reading this article. It's so fucking funny. They were asking the guy because he had like a beard, and they were like, yeah. they're like, do you ever wear women's clothing? <laughs> they were like, like they, these motherfuckers do not understand what being gay is, yeah. Yeah. and they they wanted him to say, or they understand it real well. Like you know, the medical professional that has to look at all the fucking footage of homosexual acts is like, oh yeah, this is crazy. I'm just, I hate this. I hate this. I'm looking at it. I need to make sure that I look at it alone in a different room. I'm going to need I, another position. Could yeah. you get another position? Yeah, please? I didn't really get the angle right yeah. here, you know? And the picture of him wearing makeup and women's clothing. Just, that's all it is. And he was like, uh, that's not what being gay is. He was like, will you let me send a picture of me kissing a man? And they were like, we'll accept that. <laughs> and there's like a doctor who has to look at the pictures and true? decide yeah. if you're gay enough not to be in the, <laughs> yeah, be in the military. to avoid joining the military. Yeah, this is 100% true. So uh, it's called like a kunil photographer. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And like it literally is like a super old practice in Turkey where like if you're gay, it, they've changed the practice. I don't know if it's still in existence now, but, uh, but yeah, you, uh, you could for the longest time, a pink certificate. Some people say you can still do it. Some people say you can't, but if you no, want to no, avoid no. military services, it's mandatory. Somebody, somebody said that was a dream job. Look, I, we like, you guys think it would be a dream job, but you think the average person is good at filming them have sex? Like, do you think the av you think you want to see the average Joe naked? Let's leave it to the professionals. Okay. Like, I know we all see ever, all of us clothed, but like, let's leave it to the professionals You're that know so what right. they're doing. You're like, so fucking right about that. That's why I was going to talk about the orgy thing too. Like, everybody like, always thinks like orgies are going to be hot and shit until you're in one and it's like you smell things. What's up, Andy? And you also fucking, like, nobody's hitting the right angles. You know what I mean? Especially if you're like seeing it in real time. It's very different than like camera angles. Yeah. So like you're seeing all the fucking crevices and shit, you know what I mean? And you're way too close. You're in the splash zone technically. Yeah, it's not hey, it's just not good. It's just yeah, not just, good. And look, I that's why I'm not that's why I don't fucking film myself having sex. It's cause like I just I don't know. I'm just not I'm not that's not my I'm not good. I mean I'm good at sex, I think.
I'm pretty good. Why are you pointing to me? Why the fuck I would know? Well, I don't know. I don't, I <laughs> you just, literally, I'm good at sex, right? <laughs> well, I'm I'm like, you, oh, yeah, You totally. backed me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro, you you fuck bussy so hard, dude. Fuck no, yeah. No, but like... Fuck yeah, but like, dude. But like, you you know when somebody's good. Like, Will, for example. Like, I've, I've said this to Will many times. Is I just know Will Neff is like... What do they call it in England? Top shagger? It means like you're, like you're really good at having A sex. top shagger. Like he's, I just feel like Will Fox. Like, you, see, Hassan knows. I, I mean, but, but he's been my best friend for like 10 I, years. I just I know, know that he, Will is like doing fucks. some crazy shit, like holding her up by one hand and like, just I, I know he's doing some crazy shit and there's another girl over here and he's got them like both, like with one. I just feel like, I feel like he's crazy shit. I feel like he just knows what he's just insane. <laughs> Look at mm. that emote. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he does like he does he does crazy that shit. Is so good. <laughs> Our food is here, by the way. Oh fuck! All right. <laughs> oh, you want me to go get it? Um, you can. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll play this while. Oh, no tongue. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> straight as hell. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. Yeah. I like that the way Austin described fucking a woman with like like holding them up by their neck. Like I don't know what he thinks. Oh. I, I don't know if he thinks it's like very different. No, I know. I say hold them up by their pussy. I just couldn't really like it. Yeah. Oh, oh, that makes it worse, Austin. Wait, wait, I don't know. I'm not a fucking woman. Uh, I don't know if you ever talked about this, but what's your thoughts on Eurocentrism? Uh, I, I'm not too fond of it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, fuck, we were talking about um, about like certain, the, the most homophobic cultures, how they're kind of the gayest. And they're I'm sure absolutely the gayest. There's like a bit about this somewhere. Because so. the idea of fucking a man is so outrageous Foreign, that you could that hold you hands walking down the street, hands, like you could cuddle. kiss, you could do whatever. Yeah. Because of course. Turkish people kiss a homies all the time. I grew up kissing my homies in the cheek, both cheeks. That's what you do. It's a very normal thing that you do. And then when you come to America, you're like, well, you can't kiss your homies in America. What the fuck? People go, whoa, what the fuck? That's crazy. Um, and uh, it's like such a weird experience to go from like Turkish culture where I have to like train myself again to like kiss my homies on both cheeks uh, to not doing that. You know what I mean? Um, it, it's a very, very strange predicament. I am Lebanese would do it three times, not two. Yeah. The least gay Turkish thing, the Ottoman slap, that is not even gay, brother. That's just like a powerful fucking slap. How about that? Of course, none of you guys are gay. Yeah. But, yo, oh, yeah. literally. literally they're, yeah. They're, I'm not joking. In a lot of cultures, like there's so much more male affection because those cultures don't have a lot of male to female affection. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they're looking for the touch. They just yeah. want you know, people to be more tactile. And by the way, we're saying like, oh, it's so foreign to them. They're also like... 100% molesting boys. Like, that's another yeah. good point that he brought up. <laughs> they are yeah, getting another good point. That is, that is, the Greek guy would know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's in the past. <laughs> yeah. Separate the artist from why, the artist. Why don't you say <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Have you done that bit? That's, yeah, I'm working on a that's bit where it's a like... a fucking funny where bit. Where it's like, well, listen, if we can't, if I can't listen to R. Kelly, then you can't do geometry. Yeah, because of because... <laughs> Michelangelo Bernini, that's like really yeah, good Bernini bit. is Italian, right? But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. all these guys had. And that's a funny ass bit, dude. Are you hearing this? Wait, what do you say? No. I think there's no. Yeah. Here. yeah, no, it's just my. Don't show the top. But. Hold on, I'm gonna grab. Just take it off. Just take the top off, bro. Hold on, I'm gonna grab a. Do you want chips? Do you want protein chips? Yeah, give me some protein chips. Woo! Did you give me a. Can you give me some? I got a bottle of water. I'm good. It's not whatever that fucking Turkish drink. Do you need it spicy or do you want regular Doritos spicy like this? Uh, regular like Tostitos. Do you have any plain chips? Well, I'm not sure. Bring them out. Bring a few options for me to test. There's only two, motherfucker. There's only two. There's okay. no no salty do you want yogurt. This or do you want this? Do you I'll want take both of them just to try both of them. Okay. Hold them both of them. You are <laughs> such a fucking baby. No, it no is mind-boggling, dude, dude. No way. Hassan, a bigger baby. I am literally... I called a Lyft XL one time. Okay? I am a literal man, okay? You are a man-child. I am no a way. man. You are more bougie than me. It's not even close. Oh, the fucking Lyft? The Lyft that he called? Okay, okay. To be fair, chat. The Lyft he called us was like... 
they're gonna fucking shit on me for this. I don't give a fuck. He's like, oh yeah, I called a Lyft XL, and it was like literally like a fucking Subaru hatchback. I was like, how the fuck are we gonna fit in this? What is it? It's like a 1997 Subaru hatchback. <laughs> it was pretty shitty. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck, Austin? What did you do? Wait, did you get? Is there another one? Can I get a fork as well? Uh, this is a real fork in the road. <laughs> I do have a Triforce in the background. <clears throat> no, it was like a, it was like a, yeah, Lyft. Look, well, actually, I'm not going to make a comment on these. Uh, I'm going to be neutral on my ride-sharing apps just in case there's an opportunity that comes along. You are such a fucking... You're such a shark. I'm proud of you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just... As long as you don't do Gamba streams, you know? Oh, Lover Host is now sponsored by... Uh, Steak.com? No, not Steak. Uh, MGM Grand Casino. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You know? Love that. No, it's great. Mm. So, you know, I probably wouldn't do gambling because I'm really bad at it. I'm bad at it. I like gambling. I do gambling myself. Is this fucking regular chicken? What the fuck? I, don't know. I ordered the new Asada chicken. I don't know, man. All right, let's continue. Let's continue watching. This. Every yeah, Pythagoras, all these motherfuckers. Like you would teach a kid math and then suck him. Off. Don't do that. You're talking about how gay yeah, cultures are the most. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know Pythagoras? You motherfucker. Did you sorry. just do the? I didn't mean marinara. to. I didn't mean to. I try not to. I say gyro. I don't go yiro. Okay. You know what I mean? I just. Okay. It was just so in my head. But that's a great fucking bit. We use. Not only the math, but we we appreciate the art of yeah. all these dudes that were like banging. Hundred percent fucking kids. Where do we where do we draw the line? <laughs> you could use Pythagoras' theorem to draw that line. <laughs> you could use it. Yeah. He actually the angles were little boys' assholes. You're gonna be obtuse when I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was like some that's real so good nerd up. comedy. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, nerd and child funny. rape. You never. Yeah. That's and that Venn diagram. The middle is not that big. <laughs> yeah. You don't see Dimitri like. Martin going like, <laughs> <laughs> talking about fucking children in, <laughs> in antiquity. <laughs> Bro, what a what a great idea though. Yeah, <laughs> a certain amount of time goes. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wild. I mean, they they would go. I mean, and like you know, in the Middle East, they're still doing that shit, which is fucking hilarious. And they just don't count it. Doesn't count. I mean, you like you know, you hear about like vets who would come back and be like, "These warlords are fucking kids." Yeah, and they're like, "We are not on the right side." <laughs> like they're just like for multiple reasons. Like I mean, you know, we don't have to get into the fucking the war. You know, no, I don't think anyone here is like pro Iraq pro war. war. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not pro <laughs> war. Yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But it is funny for so many reasons why it was a mistake. But yeah, I mean, they they love to fucking be home be homophobe, misogynistic, and then just. Fuck boys. It's it's a Fuck wild. Boys. Usually that is that happens a lot. So we're past it now. Though Greeks are Greeks are over it. Now when did you just, guys stop? Now they're just set, about like. I'm is chat mad at the fucking um at the actually funny fucking um joke about uh what do you call it? Some a joke people. about like fucking Pythagoras and shit, like having sex with kids. No shot, right? I would There's say three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was a point. They wouldn't young. let us get the 2004 Olympics until we stopped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't get these five rings unless they keep theirs. <laughs> yeah. um, no, now they're just sexually harassing women. Oh, time. they're into That's, that? Yeah, oh, big Well, time. this is the evolution. Oh, this is a part of his bit, too. Did, did you watch the special? I was there. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were there on another uh, episode. Uh, yeah. The American girls that show up? Oh, the tourists, big time. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because... He's doing a fucking ad. Here. Yeah, he really put the work in first. He was like, <laughs> what, what happened with the Greek economy? Um, I mean, really, what happened? I mean, you know, the in, at the in the crux of it, it's like they took out a loan. It was honestly, it was kind of like what happened with the fucking uh, financial crisis here, the mortgage crisis here, where it was like they were giving loans that they knew people couldn't Stop. pay, and as long as the bank didn't ask for it, it was never Everything a big deal. Good. And then once the economy started faltering a little bit and they wanted Greece's money back, they were like, well, we don't have it. And the fucking irony is they've paid, 
These, we, these are loans from what, the IMF or something like no, that? No, no, no. This is like fucking like hedge right? funds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, they were like getting international... private loans yeah, from yeah, just yeah. banks? They were getting... They got fucked by it. They got sold out by the, like, the, the government made mistakes, right, taking these, these loans, yeah. like the center-right party in Greece. And then, um, and then they asked for their money back. And the irony is, like, just like how debt completely fucks people in this country, we saw that in Greece where it was, like, writ large, where it was, like, they paid back the money... Over like it's bit, it's the interest that fucked that them. fucks yeah. so it's yeah. it's just to keep these banks bottom lines yeah, good yeah, yeah, an yeah, entire yeah. generation of Greek people are fucked and it's like that's you know that's why you know we should burn down hedge funds and that kind of thing. <laughs> 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 now, wasn't there something like and again I forget exactly the article I was reading but like fifty percent of people were employed by the state in some way yeah there was just like a bloated totally and listen don't get me wrong Greeks love to have a good time yeah. like there was a lot of fucking they didn't pay taxes like you know I've had people I had people in my family who just like had two jobs that just he ne like uh, I don't I won't say who it is not that anyone yeah, will yeah, be able yeah. to fucking trace it but he was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he literally was like a carpenter for the government somehow yeah. and he would just go he would work the night shift sleep in his office and then just wake up and go to his regular job. Oh, and he yeah, just wow. was like, and he was just, and then sometimes he wouldn't go to his regular job. He was just like, yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a culture that loves to fuck around. Yeah. No one was paying taxes. Yeah. Everyone's taking naps oh, in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's, that's, like, that's living. That's literally like, what he's describing is like half of Europe. Not just Especially Greece. Especially Italy. All the Mediterranean cultures are like this. I told you when I was in Italy, I went out to eat. I had a server who was kind of a jackass the whole meal. And like we were done. And you were like, yeah, you fucking, if you only had to starve for this fucking tip. No. <laughs> that way you'd know no. how to act around me. No, no, but here, guys, come on. This is ridiculous. I was like, where's, I asked somebody else, I was like, where's our waiter? And he like was, I walked out of the restaurant. And he had he was just eating dinner like in the middle of our oh, meal. Oh yeah, that's like that's dude. Like he just clocked what out. What happened like, with us? W yeah. Weren't we in fucking uh, TwitchCon Europe too? I think I, it happened in Berlin as well. Yeah, that always happens. You just have like your fucking waiter homie just like eating with their friends while you're eating. Yeah, it's just like you know, I, you know, I don't know. That is incredibly common in Europe. Yes. But, I mean, it's great. Who cares, you know? Motherfuckers got to eat, right? Look, I think God. American customer service. Yes, Austin, because they're starving. <laughs> That's why. Well, you know. But it depends, you know. No, literally, yeah. It's because... It's because your wages... Mm are literally directly tied to your performance in the form of tips. So. Hey, I tip well, okay? No, I, I'm, I'm sure you do. I'm just stating that, like, that is the fundamental difference between, like, Europe and, like, the, the service that you get in Europe uh, in a restaurant versus, like, the service that you get in America. Like, the unconditional, like, servitude that you get in America is directly tied to your living conditions and the way your uh, payments work. You're dramatic as fuck. No, that, that is what it is. I mean, that is exactly what it is. You make $2 an hour of, uh, as a fucking waiter. What are you talking about? If you don't literally get money from tips. I was a waiter. It was really shitty. I worked in a fucking old uh, retirement home. And it was like a wealthy retirement home. And I, I made, I think, $9.25 an hour. Um, and this was, this is a few, I don't know. This is a few years ago. Well, actually it was like 10 years ago. Um, <laughs> a few years ago. Yeah. I was making $9 and 25 cents an hour. You're 29, you know, I'm 28. Don't fucking age me motherfucker to make yourself feel better. Cause you're in your thirties. All right. Um, I mean, yeah, you're, you're catching up. So you give me hope though, that it's not over when you hit your thirties. Like you're still, you're still sexy to people. You know what I mean? Like we're in the same category, but you know, if I was your height, I would be in the same category. That's what you got me on is height. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean at all, actually. I, I, I've never thought about these things. You've never, you've never thought of these things? Oh, bullshit. Yeah, you have. Um, the only time I think about my age is it bums me out. 
Yeah, it bums me out too when I, I think feel about very, my age. I feel very unsexy. Well, anyways, I was fed up with that fucking job because it, at a certain point, this lady ate all her corn, okay? Mm-hmm. She eats all her corn and she's like, she pulls me over and she's like, you know, that was the worst corn that I've ever had. And I leaned in and I was like, oh, you want me to go back in the past and change it for you? <laughs> you oh, get, no. You want me to get in my time machine and Wait, change you were, it for you? Were fucking, you were... I was fed up. I was fed up at that fucking place. And on, and on top of that, this one time, this, this, this woman was so rude. And I she was very... That. She was very wealthy and she wanted, she didn't like a lot of ice cream. She didn't like a lot of ice cream and she was like very demeaning to all the waiters and everything. She wanted just a little amount of ice cream. So I was like, I'm going to show her. So she orders strawberry ice cream, right? And I go in and I order and I just pile on the ice cream. This fucking ice cream is like towering over like in this little cup and it's just like a shit ton of strawberry ice cream. Right. And I came in and I served it to her and it completely backfired. And everybody at the table was like, oh, oh, my God, you're so sweet. And I was like, oh, I was dying inside because I didn't want that to happen. That's at all. awesome. Um, for the people who've only lived in America your whole lives, you don't understand, like. Until you felt the fear of God. Ordering at a fucking restaurant because the waiter that you're talking to is like directly throwing daggers your way with their eyesight. You don't understand what it's like to order in a, a European restaurant, which I still prefer. I don't give a fuck. I would much rather have the workers in that situation be better situated um, than than the other way around. But like I've been in I mean, in, in places like you literally sometimes feel like you're you're, you know, Causing a nuisance by just simply asking oh. for the menu. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere in Europe? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You're like, oh, can I get the menu? I'm so sorry, please. That's true. I'm just really hungry. Especially in the UK. Yeah. They don't give a damn in the UK. No. Yeah. Baby. Yeah, so That's I'm, how you want to live. <laughs> oh, this is what we were talking about before the before Andy's the, right. the, the like part is it like no, not, when you've yeah. existed for thousands of years, you start to like refine your culture into totally. the things that like give you joy. Yeah. And you know, toiling away at a factory doesn't exactly give yeah. you joy. And I think the Greeks kind of figured it out. The Spanish have totally. figured it out. Like have all these for eight hours. There's no Greek Gary V's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, no, there used that. to be though. <laughs> yeah, 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 they yeah, built yeah. You love Austin's voice. Well, like, yeah, we can take I have a break. Power. Take a break. Yeah, 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 yeah. After you realize, but you first got to build it. Like, and that's, that's what we're talking about like America. This, right? Like right now, we're hustling. Right now, the Gary V works here. Like we work here. Like yeah. you're hustling your fucking yeah, yeah, ass yeah, off. Sure. Like, and I want to talk more about like your plan and how you put out the special. But like. Um, it, it works in America because everybody's here to grind, but I do think that we'll eventually evolve culturally to a point where we are similar to Europeans that we make fun of now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully. I mean, I also think there's just that, like... Oh, yeah, that's if you stay intact. That's, that's if thing. you don't get invaded and taken yeah, over totally. and have your culture change for yeah, you. Like, yeah. you get to be France. You get to be Italy. You get yeah. to be... Dog, what do you mean? They got fucking invaded. He, he's... The Greeks never changed their cultural attitude. They got fucking invaded by the Turks. That didn't. Ha- they didn't change it. You know. Greece, where you go. I don't know. If you know what? We should really focus on this cheese. Yeah, 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 proud yeah, yeah. Of this I'm cheese. working four months out of the year. But, yeah. 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 but it's also like, and we were what we were talking about earlier is like those cultures all knew tyranny, right? Like they had to get break free from like kings. Like they were working forever, and it's like we're doing that now. Like what's the difference between an Amazon warehouse and a fucking uh, fife a fiefdom? You know what yeah, I mean? It's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's like you're okay. So you're throwing you're like damn he's talking about neo-feudalism and shit stavi is popping dude love that like, not pissing in you're pissing in a water bottle and packing fitbits yeah, for, yeah. you know what i mean for black black friday yeah. is that really that different than like r- fucking picking turnips all day like so like milling the, buckwheat yeah, 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 yeah. i'm gonna say yes but i agree, <laughs> yeah. it's entirely different, but I agree with your point but yeah. but, but specifically the transition from tyranny to like <coughs> I'm gonna grind. Well, they I, had to like. F- what I'm saying is they had to like blood. Like there was wars. People were died over this shit. Of right? course, and here you know, too. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but I think what happens is like immediately after there being one person in charge of everything, right? Bro. I think Maybe. once you get your freedom, you want to exercise it 
to the biggest, to like the most yeah, that you yeah, possibly yeah, can, yeah, right? Yeah. You start going, what can I do and what can my family do? Because you couldn't do shit before. Yeah. And I think you start thinking about self. And I think in America, there's this thought about like, oh, totally. it's, it's just, bi we have a term, it's just business. What does that mean? Yeah. I could fuck you over because it's just business. Right, right, right. Yeah, I can right, be an right, asshole right. because there's it's no business. baseline human decency. Yeah, yeah. Morality goes out the window because and, it's business. And, and, well, I also think there's like, like there's a really good branding yeah. of the American dream that just like honestly I think doesn't exist. Like oh, I, I, so I know, much but I just think man. statistically like you're much more you're mu you're way more likely to die in the fucking uh, tax bracket, yeah. economic, socioeconomic bracket that you were born in than you are to to move upwards in America. It's just true. Most people die where they start and. You know, it, and in fact, I mean, this is a long time ago. I stopped being smart 10 years ago. So, <laughs> like, I, I, I dropped out of yeah. college my senior year and I haven't read a book that's not like Respect. bullshit since then. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I haven't yeah, read same. a book that's not like a crime, Fuck like about reading. the mafia. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. American like, dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Truly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just like, you know, statistically, you're just like, we don't have. You know what I love? Whenever Stavros comes over to. You know, this broadcast, we're exclusively talking about dicks. Like, almost exclusively. More than me. And then when he comes, when he goes over to the fucking comedian podcast with Andrew Schultz, he's like, yes, the socioeconomic conditions have greatly fucking uh, crippled the American society. <laughs> and the American dream is, is truly unachievable more than before. What the fuck, dude? Motherfucker, do that here. What are you doing? Every time he's like, ah, 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 ah dicks. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like doing fucking Ottoman memes and dicks and, and fucking, you know, mom jokes and shit like that. He he never spits like this on the Hasanabi broadcast. Have that shot necessarily. Like, individuals do, but it's it's not like, if you work hard, you're not guaranteed. And I fully do believe that. It's like, you know, you give yourself a much better chance. There you go. You give yourself a much better chance, but it's like the idea that like, you know, the like the the working you learn he's a socialist from this podcast hey chatter do you know why no one fucking says that out loud not because of red scare propaganda which definitely factors into it but because so many people are the most relentless and annoying motherfuckers the people who are outspoken about their political predisposition especially when it comes to being a leftist okay look at the way that people fucking treat me versus other people the reason why they do that is because he's such a socialist. Fuck that guy. He's, I bet he's going to run the top of the hour ad break right now out of fucking nowhere. And despite the fact that he has the lowest ad density on the entire platform, I'm still going to fucking yell about it. Bro, he would literally take over your stream if he started spitting on here. Be careful. <laughs> I want him to. <clears throat> um, he is. Stavros has been taking over comedy wise. Yeah, he's been he, fucking. He is in my it. recommended everywhere. He's on my Instagram recommended. He's coming across my TikTok. He's coming across my YouTube recommended. He's taking over everywhere, and I fucking love it. You don't have to always fucking like outwardly tell everybody what your political pre uh, predisposition is. Like you just don't have to Me? do that. No, no, no. I'm talking oh. to the chatters. Um, not you. You you don't do that. Well, I don't tell people because I your community would eat me alive. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking. Yeah, he's a reactionary conservative. He's literally. <laughs> A paleo, a paleo conservative. Yeah, I should just do like we should just do swapping places. Like all I'm Stavros, trying to do. Stavros comes on here, and then I come on the fucking Come Town podcast, and then we just like swap places for a week or something, and then we'll see how it works. Hakim two three nine zero. Thank you for the five. Get the subs, allowing five people to no longer see the ads. The way that you can avoid the ads, if you're not lucky enough to get gifted a sub, is by subscribing for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime by connecting your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. There, here's the woman I'm breaking out. That was great. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. All right, let's continue. I got class go real quick. votes against their, um, you know, their interests because they're like, well, when I'm a billionaire, and it's like, buddy, it ain't happening. Okay. You might, you might make seventy grand instead of forty. Yeah, but like, your the difference between you and a billionaire is like the difference between you know, like it's fucking hundred percent. Now, remove yourself from it a little bit. You're creating a an idea that people should live through. You're creating like culture, yeah. you're creating an ethos. And you want people to operate a certain way in society. We need kind of rules, but we also need beliefs, right? Yeah. And if religion isn't the motivating force in society, and uh, unfortunately maybe money is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order for people to like go work and not just steal from their neighbor, don't they kind of have to believe- Sorry. That 
I was texting One day, Ivanka. If they do work hard, that they could potentially get this thing. Isn't that better than them believing, hey, you got no shot? Because if I got no shot, right. I'm going to shoot somebody. <laughs> right. 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 I got no shot. Like, right. and, and don't get me wrong, it benefits those billionaire dudes you're talking about because it's like, as long as they can keep going, hey, be hopeful. Be right. Hopeful, you could be me. I'm not going to, I'm not yeah. going to murder you. Right, 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 right. But right, once, right, right. once you tell me there's no chance, I mean, Jeff Bezos can't be on a boat if right. you're telling all of us. 300 million people, of we course. can't, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. has it, right. and Elon's not selling me electric cars. But see, I, I'm with you, but what we're talking about then is just like, is what, A what we're selling, tactic, right? because yeah. in my opinion, that's what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the vast majority yeah, of people. I guess, I guess you're right. I guess it's like, let's say we all know that. Yeah. What would we still tell people? Does, would we rather tell them this that gets them from 40 grand to 70 grand, even if it's a little bit of a lie? Or would we rather tell him the opposite, which makes him stay at 40 and maybe even goes below? Like, yeah. I, I, I guess I guess to me it's an idea of like, we don't have to tell him shit. The world is what, it, we have the most resources in the history of mankind. Mm. Let, like, let people go to school for free. Yep. Let people fucking go to the doctor. Like if you get cancer, you know, I get, you shouldn't have to fucking mortgage your, you know, put a yeah. second mortgage on your house yep. if like somebody gets sick in your family. Yep. Let people go to the doctor, give people childcare, cover their basics. And then it's like, you know, Go get a fucking part-time job and you're good. You know what I mean? You have the basics covered. Yeah. And it's like, the first dot, there is more, like what we're talking about, there's more to life than this pursuit of yeah. fucking money. The where first it's like, dot there's when you have a medical emergency should not should be, I agree with my insurance, insurance going to cover this there is, procedure. Yeah, the fact that like that or is I don't have normalized and seen as like the normal way of existence is 311, by the way. Uh, what? Um, Are you trying to kick me out? No, 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 no. I'm just trying to make sure that you're not late. No, it's okay. My my driver will be here in 20 minutes. Oh, fucking bougie, <laughs> dude. My bitches is bad and bougie. You met him? Yeah, of course. Davide. Yeah, Davide. He's, he's sick. He's cool dude, he's, as fuck. He's cool. Tell him about him. He's Italian. Yeah, he's cool as fuck. He's fucking cool. He's very nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, dude. Yeah, this is this is one hundred percent certifiably true. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. He calls me Signore. He says that's, signore let's get Austin. European with it. Like, but not go drink coffee with your boys for four hours. But that's the thing. Not everybody has the privilege of growing up in an ancient city. Yeah, yeah, with yeah. Ancient yeah. culture. Like, yeah. that's also a privilege. Like, you're growing up and there's a fucking dog. That's not like no. If you gave the option to people, they wouldn't do rise and grind Gary V shit. They would one hundred percent do that. There's a cheese shop down the block that makes cheese. Yeah. And they've been doing that for thousands of years. <laughs> yeah, 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 and like yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I like that cheese. Yeah. In St. Louis. Yeah. You grew up in the hood in St. Louis. It's like, what is the thing you're enjoying on a Sunday? Right, right, right. Right? right. Like yeah. you're not looking at this beautiful bridge that was built but that's, in the fucking twelfth century. I'm with you. I see what you're saying. But I also think like the fact that there is that, the fact that that exists in St. Louis is the failures of what this country was a hundred years ago. Or like, you know, you what think I mean? we should have built those things already. What I'm saying is like, yeah, yeah, like we're like the reason all that inequality exists is because like, you know, look at what happened with the GI Bill, and it's like white people got it, black people didn't. Look what happened What's with the, the red GI line. Bill? The GI Bill after like World War II. Where oh it's like, yeah, gonna, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It's like or redlining, where it's like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. had like there's so much hopelessness because of because just the way our cult society was, like the architecture and our well, structure, right? right. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Bro, like, let's fucking, let's get to a baseline and not yeah. equality because equality, it's like equity is what you want. Where yeah. It's like everyone has a fucking, we're gonna- Everybody make, has a chance. Everyone has a real, this, yeah. a, sh a, a fair shot at it, right? I think that's where a lot of the, like these ideas get misconstrued is that I think you're just going, hey, can't we make it so everyone has a chance? Well, and yeah. a lot of people just, a lot of people ignore the fact that there is that inequity and yeah, that some yeah, people, yeah don't even have a chance. Exactly. Like, if everybody had a chance and there were some people that were lazier, you would just go, yeah, that motherfucker's yeah, lazy. Yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. You know, you know how many people, like, I, I, you know, I grew up in Baltimore in Greektown, it's like, that's why this motherfucker knows about redlining. He like he he, he existed in a, a in a heavily redlined society. Mo so those motherfuckers aren't getting out of Greek town. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, you know how yeah. many fucking failed DJs I know. <laughs> 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 you know how many fucking. By the way, speaking of Stavros, dude, like Will Miniker was talking about talking to Stav on the latest episode of Chapo, and Will is the reason why I started watching the fucking Baltimore show. Because the dude, literally, the main guy, John Bernthal, in We Own This City, a true story about the fucking gun trace task unit uh, that was like heavily, incredibly corrupt in Baltimore, under the Baltimore Police Department. Um, 
that fucking dude, John Bernthal, is I love him. is a great actor. I think like he has a, a truly really pop off moments. But his accent was fucking insane. He sounds exactly like Stavi's Dundalk accent. Like exactly like him. We need a clip. I mean, I don't know if you guys have ever heard Stavros do uh, Baltimore accents. Here, let's see. Stavros Baltimore accent. Um, Baltimore comedian Stavros Halki is with a perfect uh, impression of white trash Ravens fans. Because, like, Baltimore is one of the weirdest places on earth. It's truly bizarre. And I grew up in... I grew up in oh, I've been meaning to go on fucking P PFT's uh, 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 podcast as well. Freak Town, which is... Maybe like I should, like, go to New York for, like, a couple days and do Andrew's pod. He's been asking me to do it for a while. And this one, like, too. a fully isolated, like, little neighborhood that's, like... That's, like... I've, like End of white These are the people who wear the <laughs> Let's fucking ammo. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yes, dude. Ammo, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. The fucking ravings. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Those fucking guys, the guys that are like, yeah, Lamar's good, but something about Flacco that I miss. I can't, <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but. Okay, John Bernthal in We Own This City. Okay, here. Now, now, dude, listen to this. Listen to this shit, dude. I, oh, my fucking God, dude. Look. Uh, let me see if I can find a video. Does anyone does anyone have a fucking video? Wait, oh, this is episode one. Six episodes. I'm going. Oh no, he's not doing the accent in this. Maybe maybe the trailer has it. Do you guys know who I am? Do you guys know who I am? Wait, you guys know who I who I am? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys know who I am, dude. A bunch of the biggest crooks in the whole goddamn department. These men right here, my detectives, we do things by the book. <laughs> <laughs> These men right here are my detectives. We do things by the book, dude. Long or Baltimore accent clip? It's fucking Ronnie. And honestly, y'all, I'm fucking pissed off today, yo. How the fuck the Ravens gonna play a game at 3 o'clock on a fucking Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesdays at 3 o'clock, that's when they let the methadone clinks out over down by Pulaski Highway. And those bitches will do anything for $10. Now I gotta choose between getting my dick sucked and watching the Ravens beat the fuck out the Steelers, yo. Fuck that, yo. Fuck, yo. This ain't no fuck. How the fuck? Coronavirus ain't real. How the fuck you gonna postpone something for something that ain't real, yo? <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I need to... I need a, a, a like a longer version of him just like going off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Aaron, 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 Aaron. I know, I know. Aaron, 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 Aaron. I know. I've seen it. We've watched it before. Going to see the O's, yo. It is like one of the most fucked up accents, which is kind of interesting because it's a is a Phil Philly accents are similar too. More justifies a lot, Mister. I told you weeks. I want to show you like the intro sequence of the first episode is perfect because he's just like basically wait until he learns about the Pittsburgh accent. Dude, it sounds like that, doesn't it? I, I feel like the Philadelphia accent actually unironically sounds a lot like the fucking Baltimore shit. Like Baltimore accent and Philadelphia accent is like really, really similar. Uh, Hold on. I need to find like Yinzer accent is unique. Oh, really? I feel like the Philly accent is so similar to the Baltimore shit. It's crazy. Yo, dude. Yo. Rolling your fucking O's like this. Hoagie mouth. Go birds. I refuse to accept you pronouncing Baltimore that way. It is how you say it. Uh, yeah, they aren't too far from each other. Baltimore and Philly. Baltimore. Uh, the Philly and Pittsburgh accent. Wait, hold on. Fuck that. One second. Let me just find like... John Bernthal, we own this city scene intro. Like when he's like giving a speech. Oh, here, here, here. I'm not here to tell you that you're not going to fight. See, there is going to come a time. Every single one of you, you are all going to have to fight to control your posts. It's going to happen. 
control your I'm pain. I'm here to talk to you about the fights that you have to have. See, I'm here to, uh, I'm here to talk to you about the ones that you, know, you want to have. <laughs> and ones you, you think you're entitled to just because you're wearing a badge. See, that, that's the real brutality. When you have to fight, man, you got to win. The only I know. I mean, no one is going to tell you what you need to know. And here's the thing. If you really want kick ass out on those streets, it's information. Find out who's who. Who does what dirt? Where do they do it? Police officer on the street, if he knows the law, if he knows how to use the law, if he can write a report, if he can make that report read clean, if he understands his own authority, he wins. And that's not sometimes, that's every time. That is every fucking time. Bottom line, if beating on people make cases shit, I tell you, going out there, kick everybody's ass. But you know what? It just don't work like that. So if that's the kind of work you want to do, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not coming anywhere near my unit. By the way, uh, this... I mean, how's that Okay, different? next week... Oh, the Ravens ain't playing because of coronavirus. Okay, next week, maybe the fucking Cowboys ain't playing because of Easter Bunny was having sex with a lot of that monster. That's the type of shit we're going to be doing now because of fucking coronavirus, yo. <laughs> and the Steelers is cheating, yo. How the fuck they 10 and 0 when they suck? <laughs> that Roethlisberger, I respect what he did in that bathroom, but on the field... He <laughs> I respect what Ben Roethlisberger did in that bathroom. Oh, it's so player. good. And plus, think about this. Where does where the fuck did this fucking virus start? Where did this fake ass virus start? China. <laughs> okay, who's Chinese? Heinz Ward. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so good. Oh, dude, I love this shit. <laughs> I respect what Ben Roethlisberger did in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's fucking good, dude. <laughs> Bro's race is not... Dude, it's a character, dude. He's playing a character. Racism is a real thing in the real world. This person is not supposed to be a good person. This person is supposed to be a bad person. That's the joke. Okay? He's also not pro-rape like, you know, like Ben uh, like Benny Boy is. Okay.